In the case of the tube of flow, we have considered the two ends are at different heights. Instead of considering different heights, if we consider a tube laid horizontally, that is when a fluid is flowing horizontally, then the relation will be reduced to the form P plus half rho V square is constant. P plus half rho V square is constant. Dynamic lift. When a spinning ball is placed in a horizontally flowing air, when a spinning ball is placed in a horizontally flowing air, it rises up or falls down. It may either rise up or fall down. We can explain this phenomenon using Bernoulli's principle. We can use Bernoulli's principle to explain this phenomenon. In the figure, the colored circle represents a spinning ball. The colored circle represents a spinning ball. And the horizontal arrows, parallel arrows, they represent the uniform flow of air. Uniform flow of air. Here in this case, it is flowing from left to right. The arrows are directed to the right, which indicates that the air is flowing from left to right. Now let us try to understand mathematically. In the bottom figure, I have shown the directions of the air flow in curved paths. In curved paths. And the ball is inside this air flow. The spinning ball surface experiences two velocities. The spinning ball surface experiences two velocities. Or when the air is flowing and the ball is spinning, when the air is flowing and the ball is spinning, the ball imparts velocity to the air layers flowing on the surface of the ball. The air layers flowing over the surface of the ball experiences two velocities. One, its own velocity. The other one, the velocity due to the spinning ball. Due to the spinning ball. So, the velocity of the air layers in contact with the surface of the ball, these, the velocity of these layers will be modified. If the ball is spinning in the clockwise direction, if the ball is spinning in the clockwise direction, the upper layers will be dragged to the right. The upper layers will be dragged to the right by the ball. The lower layers will be dragged to the left by the spin of the ball. The spin of the ball drags the upper layers to the right and bottom layers to the left. Thereby, the speed of the upper layers increases. The speed of the upper layers, the air layer, air layers in contact with the top of the ball, their velocity will increase. The velocity of the air layers which are in contact with the top of the ball, their velocity will increase. The velocity of the air flow which are in contact with the bottom surface, their velocity will decrease. The velocity of the air layers which are in contact with the bottom layer, they will decrease. So, an increase of velocity is there in the upper layers and a decrease of velocity is created to the bottom layers. From the Bernoulli's principle, when the fluid is flowing horizontally, the mathematical relation is P plus half rho V square is constant. P plus half rho V square is constant. If the speed increases, the pressure decreases. If the speed decreases, the pressure increases. So, on the top of this ball, the speed is increasing. Hence, the pressure decreases on the top of the ball. On the top of the ball, the pressure decreases because the speed increases. At the bottom of the ball, the speed decreases. Hence, the pressure increases. So, there will be an increase in pressure at the bottom and decrease in pressure at the top of this ball. Due to this pressure difference, due to this the pressure difference, due to this pressure difference, a force is applied in the upward direction because more pressure is present at the bottom and less pressure is present at the top. Hence, an upward force is experienced by the ball. So, it rises up. It rises up. If the ball is spinning in the anti-clockwise direction, if the ball is spinning in the anti-clockwise direction, then it experiences a downward force. It experiences a downward force. 
such a force created is known as dynamic lift such a force created is known as dynamic lift aerodynamic lift aerodynamic lift aeroplane raises up due to the upward force due to the upward force this is provided by the pressure of air this upward force is created by the pressure of the air this force is known as aerodynamic lift this force is known as aerodynamic lift when the plane moves on the runway it moves fast on the runway the velocity of the layers of air the velocity of the layers of air increases above the wings of the plane the velocity of the air layers above the wings of the plane the velocity will increase the velocity of the air layers above the wing will increase will increase and thereby the pressure decreases on the top of the wings and thereby the pressure decreases on the top of the wings due to this decrease a pressure difference is created at the top and bottom of the wings a pressure difference is created between the top and bottom of the wings and thereby the wings experiences an upward force the wings experiences an upward force this force is known as aerodynamic lift aerodynamic lift so due to this force the plane rises up rises up examples are applications of bernoulli's principle example or application of bernoulli's principle example or application of bernoulli's principle anything thrown off from a fast moving train anything that is thrown off from the window of a fast moving train returns into the train returns into the train this can be explained this phenomenon can be explained using bernoulli's principle when the train is moving fast when the train is moving fast the air layers in contact with the train they experience they experience drag drag due to this drag the air layers will travel with high speed the air layers in contact with the train they move with high speed and as we move away from the train as we move away from the train the velocity of the air layers decreases the velocity of the air layers decreases and at some distance the velocity will be zero almost zero so a low pressure is created a low pressure is created near the surface of the train near the surface of the train in the air because of the flow of the air the pressure decreases so a low pressure region is created near the a near the train hence a force is applied by the pressure difference because of this difference in pressure a force is applied into the train into the train hence when we throw off an object it experiences a force into the train so papers thrown off from one window they enter the train from the back window another example another example papers on the table papers on the table fly away fly away due to high speed of the rotating fan due to high speed of the rotating fan if air is blown between two cardboards hung parallelly hung freely they move towards each other they move towards each other the roof of a thatched house is blown off due to high speed winds the roof of a thatched house is blown off due to high speed winds so these three phenomena these three phenomena can be explained can be explained using bernoulli's principle using bernoulli's principle